It's Xbox Series X launch day. I'm your host, tired as hell. So this is the Xbox Series X retail package. We just got this in earlier today and uh, we'd just like to share it with you. Get to see all sides of the box. Let's take a look at the inside of this thing. And if you're wondering why I cover up my face, I don't show my face. There's two more over here. They're actually pull tabs, but I do not want to rip the box, so I'm just gonna cut them open. Or actually cut the tape. Oh! That's nice. I like the way it's set up. See that? That's really cool. That's actually really cool. All right. That's it. This is the Xbox. What else is in here? Oh. Little how to set up the Xbox app. Apparently you have to set up the console using the Xbox app. That is interesting. We're gonna do another video of us hooking it up into a television and booting it up that way, show you the boot up screen, the menus, you know, how the smart delivery works on various games. Let's see what else is in here. So it comes with your standard power cable. Now, is this an HDMI 2.1 cable? It just says ultra high speed cable. Interesting. This is your Xbox Series X controller. Now, it might not look any different, but we will show you there are subtle differences between this and the Xbox One controller. Can someone hand me an Xbox One controller, please? Anything else in here? You have your uh, stuff? Ah, thank you. I'll show you the difference. There's just a one button difference. It's very subtle. There's nothing else in here. Put that down. So, this is the Xbox Series X controller. Right? Not much different. But you'll notice there's a difference in the D pad. This is an Xbox One controller. See this D pad? See the Xbox One D pad? It's different. Xbox One is a straight up cross. This, I don't know what you would call this, but it's sort of like webbing, I don't know. What would you call this? Yeah. But you notice there's, it's different. The other difference is there's an extra button on the Xbox One Series X controller. It's a share button. You know, for when you want to share whatever part of gameplay you want, screen cap, etc. Show all your friends what you're doing. But other than that, other than that, it's basically the same controller. You have your sync button on top. You have the exact same ports on the bottom. The difference as far as the, char the port 
is the new Xbox Series X is a type C port this was a micro USB port other than that it's, uh, I'd say 90% uh, the same yeah basically 90% the same same thing in the back batteries it comes with batteries might as well load them now because uh, we're going to be playing this bad boy all day today well I won't be playing it you know must be nice to you know get paid to just play games all day <clears throat> Set that aside, that's the controller. Now let's look at the console itself. Oh, this thing's heavy. This thing's actually heavy. Wow. It is pretty meaty. Uh, I didn't want to rip it, but oh well. There it is. This is the stand. This is the actual orientation I believe Microsoft wants to the, you to place the Xbox because you can tell by the symbol. You can see the symbol right there. There's your drive slot. You have your eject button. You have your sink and you have a USB port in the front. This is what the base looks like that it sits on if you sit it up vertically. This is what it looks like on top. These are the nubs that you would sit it on if you were going to sit this unit horizontally, like so. Oh, it's got a uh, Xbox symbol right here. Now, this is the back of the unit right here. You have your two HDMI ports. You have your ethernet port, your power, your HDMI out. And this is where the SSD memory expansion goes. It's pretty expensive. Uh, right now the retail is $220 for one terabyte expansion. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, actually. This thing is pretty weighty. There you go. That's your Xbox Series X.